This video is brought to you by the Siebel Hub, your number one resource for always up-to-date Siebel CRM training. In this video, we talk about Siebel Cloud Manager, a very new product, and believe it or not, if you go to Siebel CRM training on siebelhub.com, go to Siebel New Features, there's an entire course on containerization and Siebel Cloud Manager. So if you're interested in learning more about container deployment, Siebel Cloud Manager, the works, check out the link in the description. Hello, here's Alex from Black Sheep IT Consulting, and we are celebrating 30 years of Siebel CRM, and it's January 2025, and we're looking at the brand new bookshelf Oracle Siebel CRM documentation, sorry, not bookshelf, of Siebel CRM 2025. So this has been released just a few hours ago, and let's check out the latest bookshelf. CRM guides. And of course, there's not much change from Siebel 24 or prior versions because uh, the continuous release model ensures that 25.1 is building on top of, well, 24.12. So you could also call it 24.13 if you want it. But of course, it's a new year and it's the 30th year of Siebel CRM. So 30 years ago, in 1995, the first version was shipped. And this is the first of hopefully 12 versions, as usual, uh, for Siebel 25. And every Siebel version gets its bookshelf version. And that is something you should definitely take to heart. And today I would like to celebrate the 30 years in the second video, after we watch the Siebel CRM history from their very beginnings to the current day. Uh, let's take a look at letter D because that's what I'm recently involved in is deploying Siebel CRM. So we all know, well, most of us <laughs> would know how to install Siebel CRM. So you download the installer, you choose a machine, choose a platform, run the installer, configure it, and then you have Siebel running, right? And then you have to update it and so forth. But recently, in recent years, there has been a significant shift towards deployment with containers, containerizing Siebel CRM, and using these containers to deploy Siebel CRM containers on Kubernetes using Siebel Cloud Manager. So that's the latest evolutionary step. And you would notice when you take a look at the previous bookshelves that the Siebel Cloud Manager guide has, is constantly under revision. So that's a field where a lot of changes happen in quick succession because it's so fresh. So it is interesting that in addition to the bare bone installation that we all know so well and has served us well over the past 30 years and into the future, of course, there are new ways of deploying Siebel CRM in this decade and in future decades of Siebel CRM. And in this Siebel anniversary aware presentation, of course, a timeline uh, fits well. So I created a little timeline drawing on the history of Siebel deployment options. So let's wind back to 1995, where the first version of Siebel was in the client server architecture. So there was basically no web client, no web server involved. You had a dedicated client connecting to a database server. There was a Siebel server, of course, acting more or less in the background, doing EIM jobs, for example. And later, well, of course, starting to serve applications in the year 99, 2000, the web architecture was built as we know it, as we knew it until IP16, allowing us, of course, to evolve and get into open UI and all that stuff that happens in a browser. With the shift to IP17 in 2017, 
uh, there was a significant shift towards cloud-enabled architecture, let's call it that. And that, of course, coincides with the ability to deploy Siebel CRM in the cloud. The early days were a little bit clunky, 2015, uh, Siebel 15, Siebel 16 had cloud deployment options, but I guess nobody really used that or has it in production today. But with the IP17 architecture, Oracle really opened up the possibilities. And so since uh, the last 10 years, the last decade has been dominated, of course, by cloud and containers. So containerization happened for Siebel in 2018, where Oracle started publishing, well, Docker files really on GitHub to and scripts to create your own containers. And Oracle, of course, used these scripts internally to create Siebel pre-built containers, which you can download from Oracle support to, well, run Siebel container-based and de deploy those containers in any orchestration environment of choice. Of course, a very famous orchestration environment or whole family is Kubernetes. And the Kubernetes-based deployment for Siebel CRM really kicked off with Siebel Cloud Manager. So Cloud Manager is a, the newest deployment capability of Siebel CRM, automating all the steps towards bringing Siebel CRM containers into Kubernetes and even managing them using GitOps or infrastructure as code. So, of course, this video should not serve for too much details. But the interesting part here, since we are in 2025 at the beginning, of the anniversary year, looking back, being able to look back 30 years, we get this perspective. And in January 2025, bringing us to the very day and back to this 25.1 bookshelf release, uh, we can find in the What's New chapter of the Cloud Manager Guide, among a lot of information, that there is a new chapter. So. Literally, <laughs> Oracle opens a new chapter for Siebel Cloud Manager. And that is, of course, uh, befitting the occasion of celebrating uh, Siebel, 30 years of Siebel. We can now not only deploy Siebel CRM on Kubernetes using Siebel Cloud Manager, which was bound to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure until very recently, and now with Siebel 25.1 or Cloud Manager 25.1 rather, we can deploy Siebel CRM on a Kubernetes cluster using Siebel Installer for Siebel Cloud Manager. So that means if you translate that, there is now a installer to install Siebel Cloud Manager on the platform on the infrastructure of your choice, not just OCI. So the OCI boundary has been broken. Siebel Cloud Manager can now operate on any cloud or even on premises. And you can use it in the same way as you use Siebel Cloud Manager in the past to deploy Siebel CRM on a Kubernetes cluster and manage it. Manage it. So, well, here we are uh, again, uh, having started on a historical timeline and looking back into the past and learning from the past and now looking into the very future, the very bright future of Siebel CRM deployments, not only on premises, not only on Oracle cloud infrastructure, but really on any platform of the cust uh, that the customers chooses. So uh, great times ahead. Let's see where this is all going. And thank you for watching. Take care and bye-bye.